Check two, check two, check two. Jaji and Rich in the studio. Selena Gomez. That is Selena Gomez. That was her song. And song. We're playing it, and she's right here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of so cool, cheesy. too, to, to have somebody in the studio that we want to meet. And we really like your song. Thank you. A lot of times they put out the songs, and you don't know what to think about it, but that's a great song. Thank you. I appreciate that. So that's got to feel good that you you don't have to go out and promote stuff that you don't get behind, right? Yes, exactly. And right. your band is the scene? Yes. That's kind of fun. Thank you. And when you're when you're doing your show, at what point do you decide, I need to have an album, or do they come to you and say, you could have an album? No, I, I grew up doing both. I was an only child, so I pretty much had to entertain myself, and so I loved performing and acting and singing, and I think acting just took off for me first and I think Disney Channel knew that I always wanted to do music it was just all about timing and when I was ready and when I thought I could you know give it to my fans are you not an only child anymore <laughs> no I'm, I'm an only child oh you, well, you said I was an only child and I figured maybe oh, your parents sorry, had more still. kids in there hint hint mom <laughs> oh you want, oh, you, want, you, want you, you want a brother or sister yeah I think it'd be awesome yeah, you'd be a good big sis, I think. I think so. I love my fans, and my fans are like my little sisters and brothers. They're they're like the little ones that watch our show. Is your mom, uh, is she single? No, no, no. She's been married for like seven years now. Oh, but you don't like the guy? I love him. What? <laughs> what did you oh, start, where did that come from? Well, you said, I thought you were talking about you wanted to have another br- a brother or sister. Yeah, and, and I've been trying. They haven't busted out yet. I figured she was single, and if you didn't let it, they, they, there was a reason. <laughs> Sorry, my mind no. jumped a hundred different ways. Who do you hate, Selena Gomez? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate anyone. <laughs> but did you get your start from Barney? Is that where we would would That's have seen right. you probably first? Yes, I danced with the big purple dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, um, you, you, your face, even though you've grown into a mature a person you still kind of resemble that that girl on Barney a little bit I get that a lot actually I I don't think that I, my mom just says that I still look exactly the same just taller and I'm like well, I hope that's a good thing did you see it that is. guy on American Idol that was part of Barney the girl? was it a, yeah the girl. Yeah, the girl did you know her no I didn't she was a different generation of Barney um but everybody kept calling me about it going do you know her do you know her I'm like no I don't even know who she is that taped near your house, right? That uh, Lyric Studios was right yes. by where you grew up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, it was like 20 minutes away from my house. So all you wanted to do was singing and acting. So when was the point where you jump off and you decide, let's go for Disney after Barney? Well, um, I started at Barney when I was about seven, and there's not much work in Texas, so I did a lot of commercials and a lot of things, and we could never actually afford to go to L.A., so we sent in a lot of tapes, you know, we'd we'd do an audition on tape and send it out, and Disney Channel had a nationwide casting search when I was about 12, and they found me, and um, they flew me out for the first time, and I auditioned for them, and I've worked with them ever since. How old are you now? I'm about to be 18. Wow. Isn't there something about her, too? Everybody that Disney brings through, and this is a compliment to you, you can just tell that they've got that it thing going on. Yeah. You can immediately see oh, why thanks. Disney picks you to put behind a vehicle. You, Disney's you got, on fire right now, yeah. man. Everything, because yeah. let me tell you, before, okay, so yeah, like before, you know, like the, the, you, the Miley's, and the Jonas Brothers, I mean, they were bringing around this guy, Leon. Remember that guy? No one ever heard of him. Leon. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I mean, Where's yeah. Leroy? Where's Scotty Fink? Leroy, yeah. Oh, yeah, Leroy. Like, did that there obviously didn't work out too well? No, it was like in 2001. <laughs> I totally remember that. Hollywood Records was like, we just don't, we got nobody. We got nobody. They brought in this guy who was like seven feet five, and his name was Leroy. And he's like, trust me, you guys are going to love Leroy. We're like, oh, Leroy. Someday the world will be talking about the moment you brought Leroy on the show. <laughs> you guys had Leroy in. I dropped to my knees, and I wept. That's how that's, you know, Poor Scotty, Leroy. that guy, little cute little guy, Scotty over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how he talks. He's always so dramatic. I know. Yeah. Like, could you walk, walk in right now. He walked in. Did you hear what he said when Selena Gomez walked in? Uh, he walked in. He goes, Selena, you're home. <laughs> this is your home. He looked at me. He's so intense. We've yes, been he is. picking on him this entire tour. He's like a dramatic Phil Collins. He kind of looks like <laughs> Phil Collins, yeah, but he- he's got this, this pathos in everything he says, and everything's very weighted. In yes. other words, instead of saying, here's your next radio interview, he'll say to you something like, when I prayed this morning for a good interview, the skies opened and they brought me here to your doorstep. <laughs> this exactly is where the world begins. Everything that comes out of your mouth will I, be worshipped by millions. I thought I was the actress, so <laughs> I just... I love that. Hey, so when you hear those things on the radio and the newspaper that say, hey, nationwide casting, that was one of those things that you, you answered and you sent in for Disney. It was like that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I never knew those were totally legit, you know? And yeah. so and so you sent that in, and now you are living your dream. Yes. So what advice do you have for anyone? Because, you know, we have a bunch of people in the, in the green room over there that are here to meet you, and I'm sure a lot of them want to be, or people listening want to be the next to you. What advice do you have for any moms and dads listening 
or any kids that are listening that want to break into the business? Um, for the parents, honestly, it's just about supporting. And there's so many sacrifices that my mom and my stepdad have had to make for me. And it, I never take it for granted. I mean, it, it's a lot, but I mean, it, it, parents will do anything for the kids that they love. And as far as, as kids, I just, I always make sure that they're passionate about it because I've had like so many situations where people are just so mean. And I mean, when I was 11, I had a casting director tell me I wasn't strong enough. I would never have my own show. And I like, I was 11. How do you tell an 11 year old? Do you know who that is? Do you ever call them? Like, wouldn't that be great to call? I do, but I don't, I don't call them. I know who it is, but. um, Can we call them? No. Let's track them down. Yeah, you could be like, what's up now, man? No, but I'm just saying, like, I didn't let that stop me. I loved what I did too much. Because when Rich and I first teamed up, we wanted to, we were going to try to do mornings on Kiss and in Los Angeles. Uh Uh-huh. And we were told, you'll never, ever do mornings at Kiss Los Angeles. And uh, to this day, they're totally right. <laughs> oh. yeah. well, maybe we could keep trying. Right. Now more than ever, I think. Um, I, you grew up in Texas. Kelly Clarkson's from, from Texas. Yes. And she was probably hitting it the first season of American Idol when you were, what, 11 or 12? Yeah, I was watching. Um, so isn't there some kind of vocal thing that you, you do that she does when you're warming up for a show now? The funny thing is, is she actually chugs like a little shot of olive oil before she goes on stage, I read in, in, in something, and so now um, I do that. When so I'm that's your thing now? Yep. Isn't that gross? That's <laughs> disgusting. Like Did you research it's it? disgusting. You didn't like check with a doctor to see if that's a good idea? You just heard Kelly Clarkson does it, so now you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? That's hey, <laughs> pretty uh, cool. Selena Gomez is in the studio. You know, you talk about being an only child. What's it like, like now that you're famous and, and you know, you, I mean, the name Selena Gomez, it's becoming a household name. What was the last fight or argument you got into with your mom? Like, what's? I'm trying to get the impression of being a celebrity Ooh. person traveling with her mom. What do you guys fight about? That's interesting. You know, me and my mom never really fight, but we have, like, one big blowout a year. So it's like we never fight throughout the year. Everything's fine. And I want to say that the last blowout was just probably because uh, this business is very stressful for me sometimes. And so I get really frustrated, and I start believing people who aren't being really nice to me on the Internet. And Ooh. I think we got, like, got into a fight there because my mom's like, you never you never used to read that stuff and stop being that way. And Is stuff. it tough not to read? I mean, because you've probably got laptops and Blackberries. And yeah. John G and I were just talking about this this morning. I got led to some link that was slamming the show. And as long as we've been doing this, those things still really bug of me. Of course. Because you want people to like you, right? Absolutely. And then you think, well, what are we doing <laughs> that people hate us? We're just well, having you, fun. He got all yeah. bit out of shape because he found this link of somebody that said we suck. And no. I said, dude, that's nothing. I found stuff that's way worse than that. And he's like, no, no, don't tell me that. But I, I don't know where that is still to this day, mm-hmm. even though. Let me show you. It's easy. <laughs> no. no, no, no. What I was going to say, still to this day, I get it. I get that those people don't matter and they're jealous or whatever. But how do you, at, at almost 18, how do you get strong enough to go, that doesn't matter? Even though it's easy for people to say, how do you internalize that and make it not matter to you? Honestly, it's my fans. They're the ones that get me through it. You know, when I hear bad things or read bad comments or videos or whatever's out there, it's like m- my fans. They're, they're the ones who get me through that because they always come up to me saying that I'm an inspiration to them and I'm, you know, my show makes them laugh and my music empowers them and that makes me feel really good. But I'm like... You don't understand. You help me more because you help me get up every day and make decisions like, okay, I want to make my fans proud today. And that's what I do. But what did you read that bummed you out? What did I read? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really the sensitive subject for me would be my family. Like you can you can totally make fun of my music or, you know, acting or my show, whatever. But it's when it comes to my family, when it's personal things and my friends, I, I can't. Those do are it. cheap shots. So yes. someone took a shot like at your mom, dad, uncles, mm-hmm. aunts, grandparents. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. More than your talent. That Uh, bothers you more. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm I'm doing When's the last time you uh you were punished or grounded? Oh man. I wanna say that was when we were shooting I don't know, but I don't ever get grounded. I'm just not allowed to go hang out with my friends. So I guess that is grounded because I have to stay at home. But like what friend? What friend would your mom say? You are not hanging out with them tonight. I only have like five friends. So. That's all you need. <laughs> and they're like always everywhere else but L.A. So. So what'd you do to get in trouble?